Hey everyone, I'm coming on here today to have a little chat with you about hair bow pricing. Basically I've had quite a few people inbox me in the past and they're asking how much they should charge for a particular hair bow and to be honest my answer usually is it's completely up to you. I do try to give them a rough idea but um, at the end of the day it depends on how much hard work you put into your bow, how long it's taken to make, um, the price you pay for your materials, if you manage to get them cheap then you can allow your products to be sold a little bit cheaper, but if you pay a premium price for your fabric then obviously you'll want to take that into consideration so you don't lose out on any money. So I've got some bows here in front of me today, so I'm going to show you them and give you an idea of what I personally would charge. And obviously I'm UK based, so that will be in pounds today. Um, and I also think in America you may be able to sell your bows a little bit more expensive than we do here in the UK. So obviously it depends on what people pay for bows really in your area. Here in the UK people don't really want to spend too much on hair bows. So I do keep my prices to a minimum, but then I do manage to find my um, fabrics cheap because I do use AliExpress a lot and you know obviously the fabrics on there are usually cheap but then if you buy them from a supplier although I do recommend using suppliers so obviously they're small businesses as well so that helps them out when you do buy from a small business supplier. So the first bow I'm going to show you is this one here. It's just a fine glitter fabric, one layer I've seen people say as a rule to charge a pound an inch. If that was the case, with this being a three and a half inch wide bow, that would make this three pound fifty. And I personally don't think it would sell very quick at three pound fifty. So I would actually charge for this two pound fifty. Now I base two pound fifty on the fact that the fabric wasn't particularly expensive. It's a beautiful fabric, but it wasn't very expensive. It didn't take me long to make. It was just a matter of cutting the loops out and the tail. I do hand cut, so it's a little bit more extra work, but that don't bother me. I quite enjoy hand cutting. And yeah, it just didn't take that long to make. So £2.50 I feel is plenty for this three and a half inch hair bow. It's just one layer. Now, if I did charge more for this, Taking this one, for example, this one. So if this was £3.50, I would then have to charge a hell of a lot more for this bow because it's got a lot more detail, even though that is just a half an inch smaller. The loops are still three inch, but because the tails hang down, so I'd base that on the same as this, like a three and a half inch bow. So if I just had the bow and the tails, just plain, that would be 250. But then I've also got the little topper. I've added the flowers on there, the pearls, and these two little layers of like sort of shell shape on there as well. So for this particular bow, I would charge three pound 50. So this one, two pound 50, and then I've added a pound onto this one. Now you might think that's not a lot extra, compared to this one, it's got quite a lot extra on it. But this topper, that was, that's not a clay, Polly McClay one, it's not a handmade topper. That was um, from AliExpress, so that was very cheap, probably only around 20 pence each that worked out as. So that didn't cost much extra, and that didn't take long just to glue that on there. So I think a pound extra for these toppers here is plenty. So yeah, so this one I would charge £3.50 compared to this one which is £2.50. Now we've got this one here, which is a completely different story because this topper here is a handmade Polly McClay topper. Not handmade by myself personally, but um, it is a handmade topper and to buy these toppers, these Polly McClays, they are usually around £2.50. So you've then got to take that in consideration along with your bow. Now this bow is a slightly bigger bow as well. This bow is actually around four inches across. So if this is £2.50, for this one I would charge £5.50. 
I'm allowing £2.50 for my topper and then the bow, £3. So that is how I've come up with that price. So I've added 50p onto the bow because it's slightly bigger and then added the price of my topper. So £5.50 for this one and £2.50 for this one. So I've got this cute little bunny bow. Again, it's the same template, three and a half inches. So basing the £2.50 for the basic bow, and then you've got this pom-pom in the centre and these ears which I cut out from a template. So I would add 50p extra onto this to cover the ears and the pom-pom because I haven't used that much fabric on the ears. So for this one I would charge £3. So I know that seems quite cheap really because you've got the extra pom-pom in the ears. But again, like I said, it didn't take me too much longer just to cut these little ears out. So 50p I feel is enough, personally. Next we've got this unicorn bow. This was made using a little unicorn die set. You get the little horn in the ears, the eyes, the mane here. And obviously that was just die cut. But I've added on all of these little flowers on here, these little bits that stick out, the little leaves, the little heart embellishments on the cheeks and obviously the tool on the back. So for this particular one, I would charge £3.75. So comparing it to this one, which is £2.50, there's a lot more work gone into this. It took, took a lot longer because I had to make all the tool back in. I glued on all the flowers individually. So yeah, this one, £3.75. Next, we've got an Alice band with a, a ribbon bow on the top. This is a school one, but whether it's a school bow or not, I'll base it on the actual bow and the Alice band. So the bow itself, I would charge, if this was on a clip, £3. And then I would add 50p on for the headband. So this Alice band with the bow on it, I would charge £3.50. Excuse the noise in the background, that's my bunnies. This Twisted Boutique bow. This bow is a good size. It's around four inches across. And it's got a nice bit of height on it. The ribbon itself was super cheap. I got like 25 yards for around £3.50, something like that. So it's super cheap ribbon. So for this particular bow, I would probably charge around £3 for this. Maybe £3.50 because it's got the towels on the bottom as well. But if that was just a boutique bow, you could say £3 and then add 50 pietra for the tails. That's how much I would charge for that one. And then we've got these more intricate bows. This one. This one with the cloud embellishment in the middle. And as you can see, it's quite an intricate bow. That took a lot of work, folding it into shape and sewing it into place. I've got the extra added embellishments here, the hearts, and also this cloud topper. I actually made that myself. Well, I didn't make the cloud, but I added the tool, the flower. I added these little heart raindrops coming down. So for this particular bow, I would charge £4.25 because there was quite a lot of work gone into that. Even the top there obviously was all made. So around £4.25 to £4.50 for this particular bow. Also this one, the bow itself wasn't too fiddly. I find these bows quite easy, but you might find them more hard if it's up to you. But I find this bow quite simple to make and then the topper in the centre, that's where that was a little bit more difficult because I had to add on all these little gems myself by hand. So for this particular bow I would charge around £4, £4.50 for this particular bow. And then we've got a smaller ribbon bow. This one is slightly smaller but there's quite a lot of detail on it. You've got the little bows at the side, the tails. So for this one, even as a smaller bow, I would go around £3.50 for this bow. Again, like I said, I do charge quite cheap. A lot of you will probably want to add another 50p onto my prices because I do like to keep mine quite cheap because at the end of the day, I enjoy making them. Um, I don't sell particularly loads, but uh, I enjoy making the tutorials for you guys as well. So I make them for the fun of doing the tutorials as well. 
So that is why I keep my prices for a minimum. So yeah, basically, it's totally up to you what you feel you should charge for your bows. If you sell them quite easily, and like I say, if you pay a lot for your fabrics, you'll want to add more money onto your bows. But I hope that I've helped you a little bit today and give you a rough idea. I apologise for the noise in the background. The kids are actually all back to school today. The other half is at work, so I thought, quiet house, come on here, do a video. But the rabbits had other ideas. Hit the like button below if you did enjoy the video. Also hit subscribe and the bell button below to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye bye.